Greetings and welcome to another video in my series and show you best practices for using your gradebook in Westside. This will answer a question I get all the time about multi-step and complex standards and when to place a score in Power Teacher Pro. If you look at our language 1, which is in the Conventions of Standard English cluster, you see that there's lots of tiny pieces that go along with it, like using auxiliaries or form and use progressives. These things might take all year to teach before I can assess the whole standard. Whereas in this part of the same cluster, this could be assessed at any time just doing a writing assignment for my students. Math has the exact same thing. If we look at numbers and operations fractions, number three, you'll see that there's lots of tiny pieces that go into the standard. Until I'm ready to assess the whole and complete standard, and I'm just teaching pieces, that will go into a work completion score. So when we go into our gradebook, we make a work completion assignment. This one was already created. As you can see on the bottom for my comments, I have the different standards that I'm addressing. You can also put in the assignment titles or whatever you need to put in to communicate with your parents what went into that score. For standards, we will only select the work completion standard because we are not assessing an actual standard. These are pieces of a standard until we're ready to assess. So we save and close. As you can see, I already have scores for these students because I'm doing this over time. Certain students will go up in their ability to turn in work and to work towards their goals because that is what we're trying to teach them to do. If a student goes down, we'll have to contact the parents before we put them from one score to a lower score. Use work completion when scoring the pieces of a standard. 